Hey guys, I'm Derek, and this guy's Kato. We're gonna see if he's worth 700 bucks today. Lego. The packaging on this Kaido figure is a little bit different than your regular Portrait of Hearts. There's no viewing window in the very front, and there's no plastic blister. Inside, you actually get urethane foam to protect your Kaido. I would recommend going really, really slowly when you're taking the main body out and being careful with the head. Uh, if you want to be a monkey like me, you'll end up damaging the mustache or something worse. So be careful there. The overall shipping weight of this is about eight kilograms, which is really heavy. So if you're getting it shipped from overseas, it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg. This Kaido is currently the largest, heaviest, and most expensive figure of my collection right now. He came out in October 2020 originally, and I just got him due to shipping delays. I picked him up locally for $700, and that's after tax, but the retail price was 40,000 Japanese yen. A lot of the scalpers you find online nowadays have him for well over a thousand dollars so be careful where you buy him from and honestly that's quite a bit of money to pay. He's really tall coming at 380 millimeters tall or almost 15 inches and he weighs a solid 4.9 kilograms. If we're comparing him to other figures in the Portrait of Pirates line he's definitely the biggest one out there yet. He makes Cure Forth Luffy that I have over here look really small in comparison. If you're also putting him in a bookcase you're gonna have to modify it or if you're putting him in detail you just kind of forget about it. I recommend keeping him on a desk or someplace really sturdy because if he falls over it's game over. Kaido's design is heavily inspired by Japanese Onis, or demons, and he does resemble his very first manga appearance in chapter 795 quite a bit here. Also, the sculptor Mass has done a wonderful job of capturing how dark, menacing, and powerful he is, and I really like how he used the dragon flame as a very prominent feature all throughout the cape. The dragon that comes out of the left shoulder area kind of resembles a Jojo stand, so there you go. There's also five points contact with the ground, making him relatively secure. Number one, you have it on the club. Two and three are both his feet. Four and five are on the cape. However, one of my points of contact with the cape is a little bit warped out of place, so I might try to fix this later on. As for the paint, this is where Mega House really delivers. This is honestly a masterclass on how to paint an anime figure, and I loved how many different paint techniques they used here. You have paint splatter on the club, appreciating on all the muscles, making them pop, and even the veins have a little hint of blue, making them that much more realistic. There's a very nice weathering wash that it definitely has gone over the horns and some parts of the clothing, and the rest of the airbrush work on the cape and dragon are honestly breathtaking. This is a perfect example of how to turn a manga and anime character into a figure. Mega House has definitely knocked out of the park here, and they've done a great deal of work with the paint and design. I really appreciate what they've done by bringing Kaido to life in such a way. I personally think he's a work of art and worth the $700 that I paid. If you have to pay a lot more, or if you have to pay to a scalper, you might want to reconsider, because there are resin statues that are in that kind of ballpark and range. Of course, it wouldn't be a video of mine if I didn't rant just the teeny witty bit, so here we go. Number one, I really hope that they fix the quality control slash fitment for the cape. There's a lot of people online that say that they have to fiddle around with the cape and it doesn't fit very well. My support is obviously bent out of place, so I will try to fix it. That's number one. Number two, if you're a monkey like me, you're gonna break things, and I definitely broke the mustache. I hope that they give instructions in the future, kind of outlining what is a very important part so you don't damage it. There is an official website link that you can use or see, and they tell you what to do when you unpack it. But it would have been nice if it was in the box. And number three, if you're gonna go down this really big resin statue style kind of figure in the future, you might as well go the whole way. The head is fully removable, so just have it removed from the factory and pack it somewhere else. So you don't break things like me. Save people like me, Mega House. Come on. For those of you who stayed to the very end, thank you. If you found the video helpful or informative or entertaining, give me a like or subscribe if you want to see more of me in the future. My name is Derek, and I'll see you next time. Peace.